Dip and Squish Coasters coming up next. Hi everybody, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Soraya. Today's tutorial is on dip and squish coasters. I love to create them and I show you step by step exactly how I do this and I show you how I finish them. So keep watching to the end. Okay, so my work surface is just a little messy because I just finished uh, creating a painting and I have leftover paint. So I just thought I would use them up and why not, right? You have to do that. So I love to do the dip and squish <laughs> method that um, I've come up with and I think the, it, the patterns turn out great. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna pour it directly on here. And for anybody who doesn't know, these are just like those puppy pads um, when you're dog training. <laughs> They work so well because they do absorb um, really well. It doesn't go through uh, your surface and um, you can pick them up and throw them out and um, you've always got a nice clean surface. So I did four colors there so far, a dark blue, a light blue, a, a, a white and a light gray. And then I just want a little bit of this gold because I love gold and uh, this that com combination together so i'm going to dip it in Ooh, and i love the feel of it and i do the back as soon as i put it down and it is a messy process you can see but i do this so that when i put the cork backing on it it's already painted it's just easier to do it now all right, let's see how this looks. Lift, beautiful. Can you see that? Light, that's because I had so much white there, but you know what, I like that. I like that contrast. So I'm gonna continue on with that and look at that beautiful pattern here. I'm gonna stick some of it here. You don't wanna over mix, cause then you're gonna get muddy colors and you don't want that so i'm going to try and do the same order i don't think i have enough of this i might only be able to do one set with these with this light blue and this is the artist loft white and just a light gray and just a bit of the gold get another tile and stick it in there and the paint squishes out and that's why I call it dip and squish and I do the back again oh, fabulous it's a good thing to do while you're at home for a project for yourself if you've got kids with your kids that's beautiful too beautiful Wow. And I'm keeping them on the light side. I'm gonna put a little bit more blue. And white, uh, gold, oops, oops, I should say. And I think that's it, because there seems to be a lot of paint on there. So I'm gonna do that again. Just a little bit of a swirl. It's been super, super cold, and it still is here in Canada, in Ontario where I live, and it's, wow, just some, you just don't wanna go outside. Okay, don't like that. Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna have to do that again. I'm gonna put some white. I thought the white was enough in there, but it just wasn't enough. Titanium, or the, uh, that's not titanium, that's the artist loft. A little bit of the gray, more of the blue. And let's see if there's enough there. That's better, wow, and it's in line with all the other ones. Yeah, that's beautiful. 
that little bit of gold. Beautiful. Okay, one more. And then I'm gonna switch up the paint a little bit. So this is Artist Loft, that's what that is. It's not Titanium White, Artist Loft. Plenty there. And some of the light blue, and that's it. No more of that. You can even do this with canvases. Now I sell these coasters. That's why I do coasters. They're a great little gift for housewarming if we ever get back to visiting people again. Um, but you can definitely get a small canvas. Just try it out. Get the one from the dollar store. And um, they even have paints there. Mix it up and see what you get. Oh, okay, that's beautiful. Not sure about this part here. I'm going to try this. That's good. Yeah. Just doing that helped. Beautiful. All right, I am going to switch it up a little bit. And I'm going to add... I'm going to get rid of this because obviously there's no more here. I still have lots of white and a um, little bit of gold, lots of blue. So maybe what I'll do is I'll get um, another color in there. Let's see. Here's a nice color. It's a different kind of blue. So I'm going to do that. Use that one. The darker blue. And I'm going to and that darker blue has a bit of purple now that you see it against a truer blue. And then I might not use the gray at all. Maybe I'll just use white this time and see if I like it. All right, here we go. I think it's going to be a nice contrast. Here it comes squishing out. You know, do this in an area where easy for you to clean up. No, don't like this area here. No. I'm going to do that again. Actually, now that I've played around with it, but don't really, I'm going to just dip it. I'm, I'm rambling. <laughs> I'm just going to dip it. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's better. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, really like that. Okay, so I'm going to put more of this. In the darker blue, which has got a purpley tinge to it. And I'm going to save it because there's not that much. And a little bit of the white. There we go. Do the back. And then I'll show you at the end how I finish these coasters. Don't like this gold here. Hmm. All right, I'm going to um, dip this again. Or maybe can I do that? No. I like everything else. That's a shame. That's such a shame. Oh well. Do it again. Dip and lift. Oh, it's not very nice. Okay, I'm gonna wipe it off. This is what happens sometimes, right? It's okay. Start again. A little bit of this white. It's just paint, right? It's all about fun. Enjoying it here. And I'm going to put a little bit of this gold. It just doesn't seem to be working very well. 
All right, it's already painted in the back. It's covered completely now. Bit of a mess there, but that's okay. It gets covered up. Wow, that's beautiful. But again, I just don't like this part here. Wow. No, 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 no. There's something about it. Okay, that's a bit of a different pattern. Just the way, and these things are very slippery, so do be careful. Okay, that's different, and I like that. A little bit of that gold. Hmm, I don't know what it is. It's just uh, not working well with that gold. Okay, got a couple more. I'm gonna put a tiny bit here on this side, maybe. All right. This one and one more. And don't move it around too much, it does get muddy. All right. I'm gonna push and then look this way. Oh yeah, just a tiny bit. That's gorgeous. Love that. That is very beautiful. All right, one more to go. Let's see if I can put a little bit more white there. This blue. And then the dark blue. I'm gonna just use my finger. And then a little bit of the gold there. Might as well finish this too. Although I have way too much paint. All right, last one. Put that in there. Whoa. Okay. Okay, push down, it lift. Oh, beautiful, but no gold. All right, I got some gold here. There you go. A little different from the other ones though. A little bit too much. I'm gonna get rid of some of it. Don't like that. Don't like that either. Oh dear. Oops. <laughs> oh no, it's just getting too muddy. Uh oh, I think I've done it. <laughs> All right, let's see what I can do here. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this color. Thankfully, I didn't use it all up. And a little bit more of this. And then a little bit more white. It's just too muddy, this color, these colors. All right, push and lift. Okay, that's nice, beautiful. That's really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna get cleaned up and then I'll uh, bring the camera down so that you can see these up close. And here they are up close, still wet. And wow, see, this is the first set, it's lighter. Beautiful patterns. Lots of little cells. Look at that gold coming through. It's beautiful. And then the second set, a little bit darker. And I like the contrast, just a tiny bit of gold. Love that, look at that. So beautiful. This one, I kind of double dipped, but look, <laughs> kind of looks like a flower or something. Very, very beautiful. And I will show you what I do next once they are dried. So stay tuned. Okay, so here they are. They're all dried up and um, they're ready for the next step. So the next step is putting on this. It's called Krylon Crystal Clear and it's non-yellow ink. And um, 
So I spray it all and I spray it on once or twice, depending on um, how I see that it looks. So I'll just go ahead and start spraying. They become very glossy and it seals in the paint, protects the paint, and um, any glass that goes on here won't damage the coaster. And that's it. And um, I'll let this dry and then I'll show you the next step. So here they are, they're all dried and this just, I just took a couple from both sets. And what I do next and why I painted the back is I uh, put on a cork backing. And this is the cork backing right here and it has a sticky side. So I just peel off that, put it on, and now you can see that it's nice and neat on the back. And I do that for all of them. And once um, that's done, all I do is sign them all. And there you go. Signed, looks really pretty and ready to use.